Hi YouTube, we're here today with the A330 Supreme Hobbies Airbus A330. That's right, not the 320, this is the 330. The one you can't get that you probably want if you're looking at the A320. By the way, my A320 is no longer. It's dead right now. It won't be dead forever, but it's dead right now. So we're going to do an unboxing. I never do unboxings. But the thing is, like, when you buy stuff from China and it has yellowing glue, you kind of are curious about how bad it's going to really be. So we're going to find out here in a second. Um, they all come wrapped like this. They all come from Raymond Fung. And it's always a gift. So I'm okay with that. I get lots of gift from China, evidently. So guys, we'll just unwrap this. This is a shrink film, or excuse me, a stretch stretch wrapper, uh, stretch wrap, and then they usually tape over the top of that quite a bit when they're labeling, so that the the tape goes all the way on the package. Um, it's been about three days um, shipping from Chicago to us here in in Iowa, which is pretty ridiculous if you think about. It took less time to get here from China, from Hong Kong, or approximately the same amount of time, I should say. And so I'm just gonna unwrap this so you guys can see how it's packaged. This comes from a company called Marcy Castle. My last one I got from Hobby Paradise. Interestingly enough, I think it was the same name on the package. And uh, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So what you can see is, uh, can you pop that for me? Okay. Sorry, got a call from my internet company. So basically, just keep going on this and uh, peel that off. And they've reinforced the white box is actually the the plane, and it's it looks pretty sturdy. And guys, this is this is the opening. So I mean, it's like, hey, if it's broken and I start to cry, then just we'll just flatten that out. But uh, for now, they've really, really gone to great lengths to protect this. And I mean, honestly, the last time I unboxed my my 320, the 320 was um, boxed about the same way, and that was from Hobby Paradise. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that I had a bad experience with Hobby Paradise. The shipping here was $65, and the shipping from them was around $48. Um, the box is a little bit bigger, so that might have been what's going on. Uh, but the trouble is, I, I don't know why this one took an extra day. So I'm sure I actually ordered this. This actually took a day and a half almost extra. Um, but either way... It does appear to be in one piece, and you guys are going to be the first to see it right alongside me. So whoever, whoever packages Mr. Raymond either did a really good job packaging it to protect his package within, or he just has employees that were bored. And then they've wrapped this with clear stretch wrap. There's a little superficial damage here. These boxes are, I mean, you could literally like drop this off my roof and it, I don't even think it would damage it. So I'm definitely happy with that. Okay, so this is coming off just fine once you score it. I'm just gonna cut off the bottom half and then we can pull the top off. I may need an assistance help on this because it's super awkward to get this top. Oh wait, the top is taped. I didn't notice that until just now. Okay, so we're gonna undo this. And part of the reason, guys, why I'm doing an unboxing on this particular plane um, is that it's supposed to have a yellowing glue. And I talked them into selling me one. Yeah, why don't you pull that down? Try to pull from the middle a little bit from the back. 
if you can, come back a little with your hands toward me more because it's coming out at an angle. I had to do this with the last one too, guys. So, I got it. Oh, yes. Whoa. And there you have it, guys. Um, I haven't seen any damage at all yet. I'm just going to start. Um, and, and just so you guys know, my, my plans are not to do a full build video here. This will just be an unboxing. Comes with uh, Changlish instructions, and uh, they actually weren't that bad before. I, I felt like they had pretty good instructions. Um, oh, okay, so it looks like they give you decals for both kits because this is an A330-300 or an A330-600. And what that means is the 600 has extra length in the fuse. Wow, that looks so nice, guys. Oh, yes. Yes, it looks good. They have plugs that, that cover where the wires for the EDF and everything are. On my last one, look at this, flaps, guys, flaps. Uh-oh. Oh, they don't have the linkages attached, which is not to be surprised. Yeah, so, guys, flaps installed. I already knew that. This wing is significantly larger than the wing that came on my... Uh, on my 320. All right, guys, I'm excited to see this thing run. And look at that. The BEC, um, the UBEC, the 40 amp is right, it's right here, guys. It's not on the inside of the fuse. That is excellent news because it was so difficult to get to those things before and it made it really hard Okay, there's nothing in there. You guys always got to be careful about unpacking all the different little cavities. Um, and the other thing is they forgot to ship me something on my first one. The nacelles are supposed to have a decorative piece that uh, you can stick on the motor. And it finishes the, out of the, the, the big part of the nacelle, there's a shaft that comes out the back. It's supposed to look like the exhaust nozzle. I didn't get those on the first one. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. And I'm sure it was a Supreme Hobby thing and not a somebody else. Wow. That looks so cool. There's dihedral in there. That one has the lettering on the bottom of the wing too. The oh, that's one? so cool. I think there was. Did yeah, it? there was lettering on it. But guys, I am so excited to see this thing together. Oh, and I can see the, the LED lighting there is ready to go. Um, I'm just going to keep, keep cooking on this. We've got these very, very sturdy braces that will help too. And I, I hang on to this stuff in case there's like a major problem and I have to actually go ahead and re, return it, which would be horrible. And I would be definitely crying lots of genuine tears of suffering. Oh, look at that. That appears to be double-sided tape that will be on the bottom of the fuse that's going to cover up and this here is a connector for um, going ahead and plugging in that LED which is a flashing LED on the bottom. It's an anti-crash beacon, anti-collision beacon. Looks like I got control horns here, carbon fiber spar between the main wings, uh, some bracing to put the wings together very large control horns, okay, in that neat, neatly packaged bag here. So yeah, one more thing I gotta cut here and take out. Um, so far, really impressed, good packaging so far. Um, anywhere there was a void or a possibility of shifting, they well, well protected it. Whoa, these nacelles are, are way huge. bigger. These cells are doubly as large as my, and, and by the way guys, I had a little bit of a crush damage that I didn't realize on my 320, and, and look, same exact EDF unit, but they have a bigger cone on the front, which is great because my 320, it wanted to like, it's, it had a resonance where you would give it throttle, you get about 15 to 20% and it would start like rattling, make this weird noise. Once you got up the speed, it was okay. But I don't think these are going to have the same problem just because they feel more sturdy. 
and I am really excited to see that. By the way, guys, there's, there's no yellowing whatsoever on this glue. If this is the yellowing that they're referring to here, that looks like it's actually got more to do with the double-sided tape. And to be perfectly honest, I could just redo the double-sided tape on this, and that definitely did yellow. Um, but by the way, you're not going to know. It's going to be hidden. It's on the inside of the plane. Um, so anyway, we'll keep going. Maybe it's worse somewhere else. Um, and by the way, yes, he, he gave me a deal because of the yellowing. I knew about it. He told me about it. It was the agreement. Everything was amicable. Um, I knew it before I ordered it. This is going to be one of the horizontal stabilizers. I love the dihedral they put into these things. And yes, very, very easy to move, but still strong. There's a good amount of foam there. Uh, you get in a minor accident, you may have to take this off and go ahead and hinge it. I think I did that on my A320 on the vertical stabilizer, maybe. But anyway, just real quick to show you that pulled out. The finish is great on these. Be careful with your accelerator. If you're using CAA accelerators or kicker, um, it will make this finish come off. Um, I just got another uh, horizontal stabilizer. Control horns are not installed, which is good. That means that nothing's going to be broken on the way. Oh, guys, that is so beautiful. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see this thing together. Um, look at that. Oh, by the way, this blue, um, I'm going to do the same thing. There's an unfinished edge here and on the, the vertical stabilizer. And then the other thing is that this servos, the, they're never painted. Now, one could argue that, well, no big deal, but like, what, what does that number read? Is that 380? Is that 330? Exactly what is it? Well, once you get in there with your navy blue, blue angels navy blue, then you can touch it up really simply. And then um, if you touch up this right here, it's going to look great because these decals are really pretty high quality. Same thing over here. You can see the A330 looks great. Um, again, guys, it's just unboxing, not building. Um, this here comes out. And there it is. There's our yellowing. Oh, I'm devastated. I don't know how I'm going to live with this yellowing, except that it's nothing. It looks like one millimeter of yellowing. She can't even see it, she says. I can see it. Oh. The yellowing is so minuscule. I'm just going to carry this over to where the camera is, guys. Look, it's, it's, it's almost unnoticeable. I mean, I got to say, typically, you know, Chinese companies, you don't, you don't think of them for having exceptional character um, in doing business. But, I mean, for a company to, to knowingly advertise and fail to release this product because of that little nothing is, I don't know, that, that speaks to the quality that Supreme Hobbies is trying to hold their, their products to. And then the first time I got one, it was a total gamble, guys. But look at this. It's nothing. There's like not even a problem there. So anyway, I got a good, good value on this because of the, the yellowing on the glue. However, I'll tell you what, if I was buying this, I'm not going to say I wouldn't have cared because I, I probably would have noticed it if I was paying full price for it. But even so, it's, it's, it's not that big a deal, guys. Just sell them. Put it on there. Say, yellowing, show a picture, and then sell the hundreds of them that you have sitting there. Um, this one here, same thing. Just a little teeny stripe of yellowing. And by the way, the vast majority of the yellowing is on the inside of the fuse. These are the fuselage extensions if you choose to go with the, uh, the A320, or excuse me, 330-600. This thing becomes six feet nose to tail. It's going to be really cool. Oh yeah, that is so beautiful, guys. This thing's got some goodies in it because of the nose gear. Look how huge that is. Now there's your yellowing. You do get a little bit more noticeability when you've got all this, um, you know, detailing around it. But guys, just look, it's not that big a deal. I mean, I'm not that worried about this yellowing. And, and is it going to get worse? Is it going to stay the same? I don't know. I'm probably just going to like take a piece of white electrical vinyl, white electrical vinyl tape, and I'm just going to cut it and I'm just going to put it down and it's going to be done. And nobody's ever, ever, ever going to know about the yellowing. 
Um, same thing here, guys. It's, it's not going to be that big a deal. You could take a paintbrush and white paint and paint that scene, and you're done. Before you even assemble, it's going to be the easiest thing ever. And guys, look, look how awesome that is. Look how detailed. You guys just got to see this. These planes come with so much detail, and they do such a good job. They call it super scale, and that's exactly what these are. Look, you got even all these controls. Um, you've got all the hinging. You know, you flip this up, and just look at the panel lines, guys. You go and look at a real one. They've got just about the same panel lines. Now, one thing that they, they didn't fail on this, by the way. I'm not saying that this is bad. This is very good compared to most models. But these gear, I'm going to probably do the modification like I did with the gear door. Except that there's lights that stick out of this one. So the landing lights are going to potentially, you know, conflict with that, that theory. Oh, and then the antenna holes. The, there's going to be an antenna that comes out right here. So guys, it's just, I can't say enough. I, I usually don't get so drooly about models. But when you buy one from China, you sort of expect the worst. Um, even though everything comes from China. You know, you get your Verizon Hobbies of the world and your Mosin RCs and your Free Wings of the world that really do a good job. And then you get everybody else. And you're like, is it going to be good? Is it going to be a turd? Look how detailed this is. It's just so beautiful, guys. Yellowing, very minimal. Um, looks like you had a, just a little bit of a sticking there. Okay. Look how detailed this is, guys. Look how nice this looks. You've got that silver looks like that's painted yeah it is painted and then you've got the blue and look they even have the silver surround around the doors and it's just it's just that's a sort of thing that you come to not expect when you get and then there's a light a little three millimeter light there instead of five that's gonna be awesome that's a strobe by the way um it's just it, they've really done a great job i get stuff from horizon hobby like this f16 guys I have to put the stars on the wing, okay? You know, this this plane, this plane, I spent, what is it, double what this plane cost for the A330. Um, and this has one 30 millimeter ducted fan that is weak. This has two 50 millimeter EDF fans that will work. So I'm just, I mean, the technology is there. Don't get me wrong, the F16, it's cool, it's got its, it's, it does its thing, but I feel like this is so much of a better value, um, and it's marketed by a company that's you know out to run a business with good reputation. I mean, they're going to sit there and say, "Hey, we don't want to release this because you know there's like a little, little teeny, teeny, tiny line." Guys, look at this line. It's nothing. It's not even noticeable. Guys, you could build this and you wouldn't even notice it. Once you get this thing put together, looks like a UBEC label must have accidentally popped off of a UBEC, which is a bummer. See that? That's all you got. It's just, it's nothing. Wow, that's a big hatch. Five volt input, auxiliary channel, Looks like, boy, there's a lot more room inside this one. There's some carbon fiber spars that go down each side of this, on this fuse. You can see the black carbon fiber rods that go down next to the XT60s. Now, I'm a little bit... Oh, oh, it just looks like the XT60s are... Um... I don't know if they're like just tangled up on themselves. Oh, oh, yeah. There's power taken off for that. This must be the LED controller. But either way, this this is where you're going to plug in your battery, and then two of these are going to go downstairs uh, to the wings, which is going to be where you're going to have your um, your BECs for your EDFs, your ESCs, not BECs. Got a little bit of crunching here already. That's not real great. But you know what, guys? It's it's going to get that way when you use it. That's one of the unfortunate natures. Look how big the wing root is on this plane. It is a lot bigger. Um, which could be a double-edged sword because this plane is going to be... It's going to be huge. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see it fly. 
Uh, all right, right guys, before. taking forever, taking forever here. I know, you're like, get on with it, Brian. Is that everything? Um, what? That might be everything, guys. That might have been the last piece. I'm just double checking. Ooh, yummy. This is a good one. They evidently were not wearing hair nets. There's a hair in there. I'm just gonna throw that away. Probably gonna wash my hands now a little bit. Okay, there's your empty housing. Guys, it's it's not even that strong. This thing is, is just mildly strong. Alright, maybe if you talk me into it, I'll do a build video. But only a little bit here and there. Because this, this build video could take a while. <laughs> but this is the unboxing, guys. Go out. Um, RC Castle is the, the one that I bought this from. By the way, RC Castle's website, they've been hacked a couple of times. I don't know what they're doing to fix it, but they have been reapplying to Google and through Firefox, and they're getting their unregistered from the warning list, okay? I haven't had any problems with them. Um, just make sure if it redirects you to another site that you close it. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I haven't had anything compromised yet that I know of. <laughs> I hope I never do. <laughs> but guys, keep watching. This 330 is going to be awesome. I can't wait to show you. Um, it's going to be really cool. It's, I mean, look, look how thick the wing root is on the, on the vertical step. I mean, this thing is... This thing is built really well. And I mean, all these pieces, really good, sturdy. I believe it's EPO. I don't know my foams. People know foams. I don't know them. Um, I can't wait to see it all together. Keep watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and you guys will see this thing fly, hopefully, in the next couple of days. It's very windy right now. It's a good time to build a plane. You don't have to feel bad, like you're giving up uh, good flying time to do this sort of stuff. but. Um, it's going to be awesome. So keep watching. Thanks for watching.